And yo, wait, before I let y'all go, man, I don't think Fortuna can deal with Tank Davis. Tank Davis is explosive. I'm going to give him that. He's front foot dominant. He goes to the body well. He got a great uppercut. That left hand, that left uppercut by Tank is vicious, man. Fortuna, he looks like he's a warrior. He looks, he has some action, action pack fights. He did some great things, but... I don't see him putting hands on my boy Tank, man. Look, I gave your boy Tank some, 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 something. You dig it? Y'all can't say I'm just totally biased against Tank, man. You know, Fortuna did a great job fighting Easton, but Easton showed that he's not the elite, you know, boxer that I thought he was. Mikey Garcia showed and proved, and he's gonna show and prove when he put hands and feet on the way bully Spence. But like I said, we gonna see what Tank do tonight. Right now, y'all, I'm lit tonight, man. I'm ready to go, man. I can't wait to see Tank get in the ring. Not listen. This is gonna be a different fight with Tank tonight, man. Trust me when I tell you, man. I know you're fighting a no-name type of guy, Hugo, but he's gonna come to win. He's bigger, he's stronger, he's taller, he's rangier. But let's talk about the fight. We got Bogare versus my boy Fortuna. Now I like Bogare. I think he got a great jab. He got great reflexes. He moves side to side. He comes in. He slips in low. And he's coming and bringing the pressure tonight. He's letting his hands go. I like Fortuna, but he usually goes for the big punch. You see what I'm saying? And when you got a guy like uh, Bore, uh, he's just more elusive to me. Look, just like I said, man, Bogare, even in the inside, he's moving and shaking. The boy is elusive, man. It's a difference when you're getting inside and you're not letting your shots go. When you're in inside and you're letting your shots go, that lets me know you're here to fight. You're in there trying to get any cheap shot you can get. You dig what I'm saying? Sort of like what Bernard Hopkins used to do. Getting inside, watch the ref from the left and the right, go low, hit your opponent any way you can to take the advantage. And that's what I think Mikey Garcia got to do against the way Bully Spence, man. You rocking with your boy, CBT, man. It's fight night, man. You dig what I'm saying? It's, I, you know, even the low-level fights, the undercards, I'm excited about, man, because I'm a boxing fan, and so are you, man. You dig what I'm saying? But we're going to talk about the fight a little bit, and then we're going to move on to the next fight. You see what I'm saying? Come back to the channel post-fight. We're just going to be talking a little bit of boxing before the main event. Come back for the main event, because I'm telling you right now, y'all going to be like, yeah, Tank took some heavy shots from my boy Hugo and things like that, man. But then once again, in the inside, what just happened? Second round, 130. You dig what I'm saying? My boy, uh, Bougaro, uh, 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 he, he went to the body again in the clinch heavy you see what I'm saying and Fortuna is with the high guard he's trying to come forward but he's not letting his hands go Bougare is just more elusive oh another inside in the inside he's letting his hands go very important people I need you to really understand if Mikey Garcia do some of these tactics against Mikey against Spence because they will be uh trust me they will be in the clinch a lot because Spence gonna have to grab after Mikey let those combinations go. But my point is, when you hit a dude, oh, again, in the inside, in the inside, he's letting his hands go. He's more aggressive. He pushes the Fortuna back. Fortuna is just holding and trying to be strong. Playboy, you ain't strong. You're getting hit, player. You see what I'm saying? Uh, my boy getting points. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you dudes, man. So at the end of the day, man, okay, Fortuna doing some things now. He's trying to be a little bit rough in the inside. I see this fight going to a knockout, man. I, I don't know who gonna win this fight. I didn't put money on it. I'm not. I'm gonna score it as I watch it, but I can't do it. I don't wanna make it too long for you dudes. But at the end of the day, man, come back to the channel, man, because we're talking boxing. You see what I'm saying? How that? Oh, getting the body shot by my boy. You see what I'm saying? I think. For, look, I'm going. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Fortuna gonna lose this fight. Twelve round decision by my boy from Uganda. <laughs> From Uganda, Uganda coming to the states, taking hands, taking names and putting hands and feet, man. Point blank, period, man. Fortuna is just not active, man. I'm telling you, man. And I, I'm the reason why I be breaking the fight down, why the fight is going down, just to let y'all know my boxing mind. The reason why I'm so much skill in the boxing game, and I'm the, I'm the prediction king, and I and I win all the big fights and things like that, man. You see what I'm saying? Come back to the channel post fight for uh, Tank Davis, man. Rock with your boy. I'm going with the dude from. Uh, uh, Uganda, man. I think he's just a, a good talent. I think he's just got the tuna number. He's more aggressive. He's more elusive. And he's just more active. Holla at your boy. Peace.